Alright, g'day guys. Uh, I'm going to be working again with Campaign Cartographer 3 tonight. Um, basically, uh, sort of just showing you the solution I came up to, the, one of the very first problems that I really encountered with using this software. Um, in question is how do I add a floor mask? Um, so let's jump over and I'll show you what, that, what I'm talking about. Alright, so in front of me you can see I've got Campaign Cartographer 3 up. And what I've got is I've turned the sheet effects on. Just to show you what I mean, this is with sheet effects off. You can see there's no shadows. But if I turn sheet effects on, I get a nice shadow effect behind everything, which is exactly what I want. You know, if I put a table in there, the table gets a shadow behind it. It's fantastic. But the problem is, if in an underground map, you don't need shadows outside of the actual um, walls, because you know technically this is meant to be dug into the ground, um, not sitting on top of it. And as you can see, we get more of a problem over here where we actually have some objects um, that are displaying shadows out of the actual cabin itself. So I came across this issue and I, I, I thought about it for a while. Um, and the solution to actu actually came when you looked in here uh, and you looked in the actual sheet effects and you go through and you have a look at the different sheet effects that come with uh, a dungeon when it's automatically made. And I saw floor mask. That sparked my interest and I thought, well, that's actually a good idea. So if you look at floor mask, I've uh, got sheet effects on. You can see there are no sheet effects on a floor mask, but you know, things like floors do have a glow. Um, all right, so there's nothing on a floor mask, which is what, what really sparked my uh, interest. So to make a floor mask, very simple. I'm gonna use the floor tool. I'm gonna set the same um, pattern as the background. So as you can see, I use the same two same dirts. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw around what I've made. Now I could be using snaps for this, but I'm just I'm just using the uh, the free form. It's a pretty labour-intensive process, this one, because uh, you basically got to go and redo everything that you've already done. But I think it's worth it in the end. All right, now I'm going to turn snaps back on, and I'm just going to come out. sign that up. Alright, there we go. So what I've done is basically just created a, an entire floor mask around it. And if I turn everything off, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. There we go. So you can see now if I come in here and I turn on sheet effects, there are no shadows outside of my walls, which is exactly what I want. Alright, it makes it look like the room is actually sunken down into it. Um, which is exactly what I want. But you're probably asking yourself, all right, well, that's, that's pretty easy to do a box shape, right? And absolutely it is. How would you do the cabin? All right, how would you stop these shadows over here? And you've got to learn how to use a different tool for that. So let's go in. We're going to grab our, our same set here. All right, and we're going to come in here. We're going to start doing our first point. And you'll see down here, we've got an option now that says T for trace. So I've put my first point in. All right, we're going to press T. And it's saying entity to trace. So I'm going to click the edge of this entity. And it's asking for a starting point. All right, so we're going to start here. And I'll just move my mouse. It took me a while to figure this out because it looks pretty weird when that line's going around but just move the mouse around everything. And you can see it comes in and traces it. And when you get back to here, to the edge, 
you just click. All right, and now I can draw back out around everything. And there we go. Now you can see there's no shadows uh, outside of the walls uh, and everything looks great. If we turn the sheet effects off, it still looks very different. Turn the sheet effects on. Got a new and improved um, map with uh, no shadows out in your, uh, your, your actual dirt walls. So there you go, guys. Um, I'll just run through that again because that is a, a fairly interesting process, that one. So trace is uh, using, the, I'm using the floor tool in this situation. Uh, you're clicking where you want to begin. So I want to begin here. Press T. Select the entity that you want to trace. In this case here, I want to trace the cabin. And then go your starting point. So I'm going to come right here. And follow your mouse around and there we go click and then you can do everything else so I'll cancel that but you get the point so anyway guys that's uh, that's uh, how to basically create a floor mask and how to use the trace functionality um, within Dungeon Designer 3 I hope that's helpful to you it certainly took me a while to figure that one out and if you got any questions please ask them in the comments below have a great one